Hello there, so following my review of the New Yes Thermal Printer, um, and I'll leave a link to that review down below in case you want to check that out, New Yes offered to send me this Scan Reader Pen, and this is really quite a cool, interesting gadget, so I couldn't really resist reviewing it. Uh, this currently retails at about £159 on Amazon, and there will be an affiliate link for this down below. So what actually does this pen do? Well, the Scan Reader Pen is basically a kind of reading pen that can translate for you. And what do I mean by that? It can scan text on a page and translate it on the screen and read it out. It's got a dictionary function so you can look up the meaning of words. It's got a dictation function so you can speak to it like a dictaphone. Uh, you can play mp3s on it. You can actually use it as the kind of, you know, the universal translator in Star Trek. You can speak to this and it will do a live translation in something like 112 different languages, assuming Wi-Fi connection. So that is just a handful, a taste of the features that this device has got. So I'm gonna open it now and show you. Let's open the packaging. It comes with a little sleeve to keep your pen nice and clean and safe, which is great. It comes with a USB-C charging cable. And we've got the instruction manual, which I think is in English and Chinese. I did actually refer to these instructions because uh, it is quite a thorough description of how to use uh, this pen and the functions on it. What else have we got? A test card so that you can test the translation functions. Before we just take a look at the pen, which you can see down there actually, why might you use this? Well, firstly, it's useful for dyslexic people who have difficulty reading. You can scan this across your text and it will read things out for you. Another use of this is as a kind of dictaphone, speaking to it and it records what you say. It also works as an MP3 player, so if you've got it in your pocket for translation purposes, you can also play your MP3s. But I'd say one of the main uses of this, um, and it kind of is hinted at on the box here, is as a translator. So this is great, actually, and pretty magic when it comes to translating foreign texts. And when might that be useful? Well, imagine you're on holiday in a foreign country and you don't read or speak the language very well, then this could be really useful for you, a really cool and handy thing to have in your pocket. So this is the pen. It's this nice kind of, I suppose, duck egg blue. That's what I would, I would call that. Let's have a closer look at the pen. There are um, bi-directional microphones on this pen. So presumably if you're using it to record audio, it will get left and right two channel audio. There's the on button, the volume buttons, the USB-C charging port. And this bit here is the kind of optical gubbins that does the scanning of the text. So I suppose actually thinking about it, another reason why there's more than one microphone is you know if you're speaking to somebody and you wanna translate what they're saying, you know, you might hold it to yourself like that. Uh, you don't want to have to get it the right way round to record the audio properly. So that's really quite a nice design there. So let's peel the film off the screen, which is a lovely thing to do. Oh, it's lovely and shiny. I'm probably going to make it very messy with my fingerprints in a moment. So let's turn it on by holding this red button down here. New yes. You can see it's got quite a generously sized screen here. And I feel really bad touching this, but I believe, yeah, it is a touch screen device. Um, vibrant colors. Let's have a look. Text translation. Really, to be honest, this is absolutely magical. Uh, I'm going to use the test card here. So you hold it at about 75 degrees to the paper. Press down slightly. You can see that little light comes on. Scan it across your text and it gets the translation. There we go. Currently it's set up to translate in Mandarin. I can press this. Good morning. So then if I look at the settings on the side here, we've got the scan language and the translate language. I want it translated into US English, but it will actually translate into all these different languages, assuming you're connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, so I've actually connected to Wi-Fi so that we get the extra voice functionality and extra translation functionality. I'm going to demonstrate a few more things to you. So we've currently got it set up for Korean to, let's have a look, we better, we're in the UK, so we'll change it to Korean to UK English. 
uh, and we will scan the Korean text. There we go. So that's what it is in Korean. How old are you? Um, I think the top one there is Japanese. So we'll go to Japanese. Hello. Okay, and what happens if we try and scan a language that it isn't? Okay, it kind of reads French in a Japanese accent, which is quite interesting. So you need to choose the correct language when you're translating it, essentially. But this is the test card, so we need something a bit more uh, realistic. So I'm just going to choose something kind of random. I'm going to choose the box here. Uh, and we've got some text in on here that is in uh, different languages. It looks like Spanish actually to me. So let's try some Spanish. Nombre del producto. Lector de escaneo. Product name. Scan reader. I mean, that is pretty damn impressive. You can see it's really quick to scan. It processes really quickly. I'm hoping this comes across really because I'm pretty actually blown away by this technology. It's actually really surprisingly easy. Que je vous sers à boire un, un. What can I serve you to drink? So that's just the reading. Useful if you're abroad or useful if you've got some foreign text that you need to translate. We've also got text reader. So you can take some text, scan it. Teachers say about this groundbreaking range. You can press on the screen and it'll read the whole thing out again. Laid out. Or you can get it to just say a word. Dictionary. Sing. We've also got phonetic translation. Now this is I think one of the most impressive things about this. So let's let's try uh, we'll go from English UK to French. And we have to press this button here. So let's try something. Excuse me, sir, where is the nearest toilet? Excusez-moi, monsieur, où sont les toilettes les plus proches? I mean, that is pretty first class and extremely useful if you're in a foreign country. How old are you? Have you got a translating pen? Quel âge as-tu? Avez-vous un stylo traducteur? Oh, that's uh, just wonderful. Right, okay, let's try something else. Let me see if it works the other way around and I shall embarrass myself with a really little bit of French. Aujourd'hui, j'ai mangé le poisson et le frit pour déjeuner. Today I ate fish and chips for lunch. I am just blown away by that feature. Very useful. And then we've got the music player here. So if you plug this into your computer via the cable provided, you can upload MP3s to it. Uh, we've got the dictaphone function. So let's try something. This is a test audio file. This is a test audio file. Text excerpt. What is this? Please click plus to add excerpts. Please scan vertically. Okay, so now that's now saved that line of text. Quite good if you want to steal documents, I, I suspect, but um, I wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway, dictionary. Please scan as vertically as possible. That's interesting. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Oh, that's quite good. And then you get a, a Collins English Dictionary explanation about what that word means. Require. So I've actually connected this via Bluetooth to my Google Home smart speaker just to use it as a speaker because now, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, but I should be able to use this to um, play sounds through that speaker. I don't know if you heard that, but it is working. So essentially, if you've got Bluetooth earbuds or headphones or whatever, you can pair it with this and play your music through it. And uh, I think this would be really useful for foreign students, actually, to just have in a pocket and then they can listen to their music and they can translate things if they need to.
What else have we got in settings? Uh, volume, display, there are a few settings in here. Upgrade, oh, I always like the upgrade button. Oh, I've got the latest version. Okay, well, that's good. At least they've got that in mind. So that's pretty well all the features on here. Um, a pretty amazing bit of tech, really. Um, 160 quid or thereabouts at the moment. And there'll be a link down below to this on Amazon, which will be an affiliate link. What do you think of this? Do you think it's the future? Let me know down below, because I'm really quite impressed as you can probably tell. Anyway, thank you to my law patrons who are scrolling down the screen now, especially George Foote, Jim McKay, Jennifer Jones, Samir Al Amar, and Rob Van Eden, who are extremely generous patrons. Thank you very much indeed. Do subscribe if you enjoy my videos and Goodbye, good looking. Yeah. Goodbye.